And so, again, Lazarus was sitting out there by the dumpster waiting for what the man would wipe his face, wipe his hands, and clean himself off with, with fresh, warm bread. Now, meet Lazarus. It says Lazarus is sitting out there by the trash. He's helpless. He's thankfully getting any chunk of used hand cleaner bread that's possible. But he was so helpless. Notice that Jesus says he was unable to keep away dogs that came to lick him. I mean, he he couldn't even shoo away a dog. Could have medicinal uh, effect. A lot of commentators say that, that it was good that those dogs were licking him. But he was still weak and couldn't keep off the roaming dogs. Lazarus also had a beautiful name. Lazarus is just the Latinization of the Hebrew name Eleazar. You ever remember that? Eleazar and Ithamar in the Old Testament? That's Eleazar is Lazarus in the New Testament. It means God is my helper. So God is my helper is laying by the trash can, unable to even fend off dogs, eating hand wipes. And the rich man is not even seeing him. So, again, these are just the details of the story. One more detail. Lazarus was very sick. Eleazar, or Lazarus, not only was totally helpless, but he was sick. He was a starving beggar, and Jesus said he was covered with ulcerated sores. But God would help anyway, whether Lazarus was poor or helpless, because God would never change. So God was always his helper, and God wasn't his helper just because he had ulcerated sores, And because he was poor and a beggar. Because the most important thing, his greatest need, God had already met. And his time was very short. And Jesus didn't tell the story. He didn't say if he was a beggar all his life or if he just, you know, got in a chariot accident and just or got laid off. I don't know how he got to where he was. But he had the most important details covered, as we see by him entering in the presence of the Lord. So life passes for both. And the scene in the afterlife shows a drastic switch in their conditions. Now, I want you to think about this, because Jesus is explaining this to us to get our attention. What he could have said is there's torment in hell and there's bliss in heaven. But he actually builds this picture 